enough or OCD enough to fit the mold? And what mold are we even supposed to fit in in the first place? And why do we even care about fitting in that mold? Today, by popular demand, we are finally addressing imposter syndrome. What is it? Why the heck do we deal with it? Why won't it go away? And is there anything we can do to find relief from this anxiety-inducing condition? We're gonna talk about all of that and more. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video. I'm gonna share some of my favorite mantras or short sayings that you can keep with you on a day-to-day -day basis to remind you that you are, in fact, not an imposter and actually a certifiably true, beautiful representation of yourself that nobody else in the world can be except you. I've even designed a collectible PDF that you can download for free with these mantras on them. I'm gonna tell you how to do that at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. Let's jump in. But first, I guess I should start off as not an imposter. you can hear me I'm gonna um, I'm using this like uh, it's a rig from DJ Osmo or it's like a, a gimbal trip like you know thing uh, I haven't really used it much because I couldn't figure out how to well I yeah I couldn't figure out how to attach an external microphone with the cold shoe that I have um, without the gimbal failing and I'm very afraid that the gimbal is going to fail um, but it hasn't yet so I'm just gonna keep going um, today is May 1st <laughs> um, today is May 1st um, I woke up today feeling fine, um, nothing really major, um, well, uh, I mean, you know, where to start, really, um, okay, oh, uh, fuck, man, um, so, the, um, hmm, I don't know how I got on, I don't know. I woke up, it's all like, it's really difficult to tease, you know, these things apart. But basically I woke up today and I, uh, I need to, I've been putting off um, going to Houston where my parents live to go back to their house to get some stuff that I left in Houston last time I was there, which was a couple of months ago. Um, I, there's a couple of things that I really want to get, um, um, like my camera, like some music equipment, uh, microphones and stuff like that, that I brought there thinking that I was going to use them while I was there when I didn't. But, um, anyway, uh, the last, few months that I've been in Atlanta, I haven't had this stuff and I really want it. Uh, and I'm about to start a job, a new job on uh, the second week of May. And I need, I've been pushing this trip back. Uh, so I need to go and come back before I start work. And then I'm going to be like locked in uh, on this work thing, job having. Um, so I want to make sure I get all this stuff, right? Uh, so today I've got to I've got to leave um, Thursday at the latest. Today's Monday, so I'm like, all right, let's get you know, uh, get ducks in a row. I need to clean. That's like the first thing I was like, you know, um, I've kind of neglected my space for the last week uh, because I've been um, generally preoccupied, but. So today I woke up and I was like, I need to clean. Uh, another thing I haven't done in a little while is taken uh, my ADHD medication. So I was like, today, first thing I do when I wake up, take my pill, make some coffee, 
And I like sit down and start waiting for the, the pill to kick in. Uh, and when it does, I'm like, all right, let's go. We're cleaning, you know, like I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, so I start doing that and I think, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> God. Uh, so while I'm doing this, I also like, um, at the same time I started a new Instagram account. Um, I had a new Instagram handle come to me in the last couple of days and I was like, let me go ahead and secure this. Uh, I've been trying to like, uh, apart from like the personal branding, like, you know, thing that is very popular, um, in like the world, in the influencer space, whatever it is. Um, I've been trying really hard to, uh, get something to like, uh, take off. But anyway, I started new Instagram and I was like, you know what? Um, I need to do Instagram and like make it a thing and not be ashamed of posting and not be, you know, like all, all that type of stuff. So I, I was watching some Instagram videos, uh, and they were, you know, just talking about like, you know, what your audience and like what the brand is, what you're trying to say, you know, with this page, what value are you offering to people? Uh, and I was like, yeah, you know, like what, you know, what are the, the, um, who's my audience, you know? Um, and I think a lot of where I wanted my Instagram page to go is more for like representation, um, for like just being representation, being visible, uh, for other people who may, um, be like me, who may feel like I feel, who may, uh, have some of the same struggles that I have. And I think that's how we got on this. But um, after a couple of Instagram videos, I realized that there really wasn't, you know, a lot. I mean, there's, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of nuance and, you know, like how to find the right hashtags and all that stuff. But I was like, okay, well, I've, you know, I've got uh, a, a base enough knowledge that I, you know, can move on. Uh, and I'm not sure if I just like, oh, yeah. Mm. Um, so after I dove down that wormhole, I was like, well, I'm doing laundry and like, uh, cleaning and, and stuff like that. I was like, I moved my other little TV in my bedroom that I had been keeping. I was trying to like move electronics, but anyway, I put my TV back up and I was like, well, I'm in here doing chores and stuff. Like I'm going to just watch some, some videos. And I think I had been wanting to revisit, um, like the, uh, ASD spectrum, autism, ADHD, and, uh, and things of that nature. And, um, I was, I think I was trying to look at other adults and sort of what their experience was and, you know, um, that type of thing. Uh, so I watched a couple of videos and, you know, I've kind of gotten to this point where, okay, like, um, you know, something's not right with me. Something I've known uh, and felt for his prop, I mean, uh, as for a long time, you know, um, difficult to, you know, uh, pinpoint exactly. But when I think back on, you know, major memories in my life, there are, there's like a common, um, like disconnect or like, Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's a couple of moments that I always go back to where I have like uh, emotional like outbursts. They're mostly for me the the two that I always go back to are just me like breaking down and like crying. Um, one of them was in uh, like pre K. Um, I was probably like you know four or five and. Um, one thing that, uh, I, you know, there's so many things that I'm like, okay, you know, you are clearly on this like autism spectrum. And there's some things that are like, you know, just so, uh, in like direct juxtaposition or direct contrast or, um, antithetical to 
you know, what those things would be, you know, and I'm like, it can't be that, you know, like it's something, it's gotta be something else, you know, um, I've been, I want like, um, and this is unfor the unfortunate reality, the unfortunate realization that I kind of had today is like, I'm not gonna, nothing's gonna like have everything snap into place at this, you know, I mean, it's not even at this point. It's like, regardless of when I would had been diagnosed, like it would have always been a process of like understanding and trying to figure out and process and, you know, move forward, um, in the best way possible with the information that we're given. Right. Um, so there's nothing at my ripe old age of 33, that's gonna like, make everything make sense all of a sudden, you know, um, there's regardless of, you know, what the diagnosis is like, no diagnosis is going to like automatically make me understand and make me be able to navigate the world better. It's also not going to let other people understand because people don't even, if I were to like, I, there's this, if I were to say, Hey, I have autism, they would be like, uh, okay, like, what does that mean? You know, like, how does that, you know, um, how, like, there would be so many things that, um, I feel like it would just bring up more questions than it would actually provide answers other than like, oh, you're different or like, oh, you're weird or like, you know, something along those lines. Um, but anyway, I, I've always, wa I remember growing up, um, and when I was like three or four, um, interacting with kids in my cul-de-sac on my street, I always really wanted to go to school. I, uh, my, I was homeschooled for the first, uh, you know, for early on, uh, up until third grade, well, up this little stint in pre-K, but, um, I've always, for some reason, when I went to pre-K, I had already had this strong desire to go to school and like be around other children because I wasn't getting enough of that. Um, but, uh, I had, you know, I remember having fond memories of pre-K. I had a cousin or like a, you know, um, a close, like familial friend, um, that was also, I think maybe in that same pre-K class until they moved away. But anyway, um, the big, I don't really remember like too many other things that are specifically from going to pre-K except for this one incident. I remember being towards the end of the school year uh, in my head, but basically we were celebrating a birthday, somebody's birthday. Um, and the teacher was like, we have to go to the teacher's lounge to get birthday stuff. It was like cupcakes and like plates and drinks or whatever. Um, so she asked for volunteers to go help her um, get the stuff from the teacher's lounge or wherever, wherever it was. Um, I enjoy being involved in things. If there's something to be involved with, I probably, uh, want to be involved with it generally. Um, so I was like, let's go, you know, I'm a strong boy. I'm a boy. Uh, I, and that's like, you know, uh, boys are strong. Uh, I can lift things. Uh, so I, I went with, me and a couple other kids went to the teacher's lounge to get the stuff. I remember going to the teacher's lounge. I remember opening up the refrigerator and seeing a lot of other things in the, in the refrigerator. Obviously there were the cupcakes. I remember the cupcakes. They were like pink with like multicolored sprinkles on top. Um, but something else caught my eye in the refrigerator. It was a block of cheese. I remember being a block of cheddar cheese. Obviously it's a teacher's lounge, like someone's lunch, whatever. I remember being like, Oh, like I want, like cheese, like let's get that too, you know, <laughs> or like I want, I want the cheese. Um, and the teacher said, no, we're not, that's not our cheese. Like we didn't come for the cheese. We came for the cupcakes, blah, blah, blah. And I remember not being able to like understand, uh, that we couldn't have the cheese or like, you know, um, I've never, I don't think maybe up to this point I had been like rejected like that maybe. Um, so I, uh, start crying. I like break down, start crying. I'm like inconsolable crying. Like we get back to the classroom and I'm still like crying. Um, 
and I remember the kids being like, what's, you know, like, what's wrong? Like, you know, and they're like, you know, who are someone else who was with us in the lounge was like, well, that, you know, like there was some cheese and like, it's, you know, it's not our cheese. Like, it, uh, I just remember kids being like, not understanding why I was so upset and me also like not being able to not be upset in that moment. Um, I don't really remember how the situation was resolved. Um, I don't know if like, if it was bad enough for like my mom had to come pick me up or something like that. But, um, I just remember being like, you know, inconsolable in that, in that moment of rejection, basically. Um, another time, much, uh, a couple of years later, uh, we had moved away, uh, to another city. We were living in Buffalo, New York, and I was going to school at this point. Um, this is in fourth grade. I remember it being in art class and we were working on self portraits and we we're painting self portraits for a long time. You know, it was like not a one day thing. It was like a long art project. And I remember through the painting, you know, like not being able, I remember not being able to like comprehend that we were going to be like painting ourselves or like you know, that I was a person and like I looked or like I, I couldn't like visualize my face enough. I don't know how we were like if we were going off of like a picture or what. But I remember along the way thinking like this doesn't look like me or like this isn't me or, you know, stuff like that. Those sort of feelings. Um, and then finally it was time to finish these uh, <laughs> these drawings, uh, these paintings. And it also happened to be maybe it was like end of school year sort of thing because I remember like my parents being there and we had to like look at the you know these portraits and I remember looking at my portrait and I was like just unhappy with it um I you know I don't even know I couldn't even really articulate like why um I was unhappy with it if it was because it didn't I didn't feel like it looked like me or if I thought it was ugly which is another um thing that I reinforced in myself uh, for a long time, but, um, I remember just like being like breaking down and crying and like being inconsolable and everyone being like, well, you know, like, like what's wrong. And I'm like not understanding, but I just like couldn't communicate like how I was feeling and I just knew it was bad. Um, so I, uh, I really hated that, but, um, I still had that portrait. I have it here actually. to a Christian school so we had a little halo going on but uh yeah I mean obviously it doesn't look like me uh it didn't look like you back then look at the proportions on my head I don't know what I don't know what it was that was so upsetting about it I mean you know I knew I think I, I think most of it was because it was a bad drawing I'm gonna choose to believe that but um yeah I wanted to a couple of years ago when I first started like recalling these memories I remember like wanting to ugh, I remember wanting to get, uh, wanting to, to get a hold of it and put it up because I, um, a couple of years ago was when I started realizing like how much I hate myself, uh, and I need to like work on that. Basically, um, my dad gave me, there was a couple of things that I asked for and he decided to put it in this frame. And of course I never put it up because it's, I, I also was just going to like tape it on the wall. Like I'm not, a, you know. Um, the, the frame added so many other variables that I did not want, and I'm going to take it out of here if I can figure out how to take it out. Okay. We're just going to bend all these back. Cool. 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 Dope. 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 Yeah. You know, there's like. I can appreciate the gesture, but it's like, sometimes I just don't want, like, you know, just give me what I asked for. Yeah, I'm taking this out. I fucking hate this frame anyway. It's, ugh, never mind. 
Never mind. Somebody decided to cut the grass. There's always somebody cutting the grass. There's so much grass around here. There's always somebody cutting somebody's lawn. Um, where are they? Okay. Yeah, so... Um, yeah. Um, like I said, I don't know if it was because I, like, I don't know exactly what it was, but I really, this picture really upset me. Um, <laughs> uh, but now, like I said, I, uh, in this, in another, like, adjacent process of, like, self-acceptance and, like, self-love and all that stuff, I wanted to have it as, like, a um, reclaiming Michael Henry four year four good times okay yeah i don't know um why exactly i felt the need to share those things right now but i did so i did and now they're on camera that's great um but basically um in Back to like the wormhole that I got myself. Well, not December the wormhole. I just started looking at you know some um, some autism videos, and there was a like, one that I actually had watched previously before. It was a TED talk. This woman uh, just kind of like going off about like you know how uh, she's been misdiagnosed and like all all this stuff. Um, you know all the hardships and things that um, she's had to deal with along the way to this you know, autism late in life, autism diagnosis. And I'm like, cool now, you know, now, like now what, what, what is going to make this better? What is going to make me be able to build relationship with other people? What's going to make me be able to get in a relationship? What's going to make me be able to, um, process the world, uh, in the way that other people process the world or like in a, an easier, an easier time, basically, that's really the thing is what's going to make, um, is there, what is going to make my life easier, you know? Um, and like I was saying before, like there's nothing that's gonna, no diagnosis, no pill is going to like, as far as I know, going to be able to like snap things into place where everything's just going to be like, ah, huh, this is easy now. Like, oh, you know, I'm not constantly processing. I'm not constantly having to like, um, negotiate between me and the world around me or like, you know, the, the edges of myself. Um, just, yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's anything gonna like, there's no, basically no diagnosis and no, I don't think any medication is going to like, make that easier. Um, so I was thinking like, what's the point, you know? Um, like what's the, so basically what's the solution? Do I have to not exist in the professional world? Like, am I gonna, I'm, I'm already thinking like when I start this job, like how long am I going to be able to stick around? Like how long am I going to be able to do the job? Um, and I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm very worried. I'm, yeah, no, I mean, I have no, then the other thing is like, this has been a long, this has kind of happened for a long time. Well, I've been, you know, questioning things for a long time. And, um, I like, you know, do I, is it, yeah, like I, I, I'm really struggling to visualize what a solution looks like or like what my life looks like after like you know moving forward like what is uh i've always had trouble like forward like future planning like understanding really understanding how i exist in the world i'm still trying to figure this whole i'm still trying to like just comprehend like 
I remember when I, um, yeah, uh, uh, I'm, I'm really trying to make sense of it. I, I really have no idea. It doesn't make, um, uh, now that I've, I've gone down this, you know, hole, uh, I recently, you know, begged someone to diagnose me with ADHD last year and gotten a hold of medication that's like, help me do stuff because obviously stimulants, like we're going to make you do stuff. Um, you know, even if it's not, it's not the stuff that I need necessarily to do, but, um, you know, I had to beg for that and now I'm like, okay, now what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm having trouble figuring out what it's like, what's the happy, if not even, yeah. Uh, like what's, yeah. What's the happy place going to be? What's like the end, like when's life gonna start? When's life gonna like click when when i'm at, when am i going to get into a groove that like feels right and is a path that um yeah just feels right um i don't know i'm really at a i'm really at a loss um and the the cool thing is um the coolest thing is i don't necessarily feel as like depressive about it as i used to um you know, I, I could easily, and maybe we'll see in a couple of hours, but like, I could easily like, no, 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 sir, this wouldn't necessarily be like shutdown mode, but I could just be like, you know, depressed. I could be like, all right, time to get back in bed or like time to lay down and like just zone out on something for, to get to the next day. Um, and so we can do it again, but, um, I feel better and I'm actually, um, I've all, I've struggled with emotional, like regulation. Um, and I'm dealing with a lot of other personal, like, you know, stuff. And over the weekend, I actually had like a, uh, I think it was maybe Friday. I was like in a bad, I was not feeling good about my, there's a person that I'm very fixated on right now. Um, and we're in a, it's like a weird nebulous place. Uh, I'm trying to work it out, like literally work out of it, like work and back out of it so I'm not so fixated on him. But more importantly, I need to not be fixated on any person outside of myself. Uh, I really need to like get my stuff, get myself regulated for me um, and like come to a, a place where I feel like confident in my existence. I've been really struggling with identity, um, who I am outside of all of my um, attachments and relationships and who I am to other people and like, you know, all that stuff. I really need to figure out, um, figure things out from it, from myself radiating outwards into the rest of the world. Uh, and maybe that ties back into not having to like be like diagnose anything in particular, because obviously like even on, like on the ASC spectrum, it's not like a linear progression where it's like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm not on this linear progression. It's like a, a web, um, a, a like a 7d web. Uh, and I'm like somewhere in that web and that's, it's kind of irrelevant where, uh, you know, or even like what the things are about me that are, um, you know, odd, like autistic -y or, you know, what, what it's really irrelevant. Like what is what? What about me is neuro neurotypical? What about me is neurodiverse? Uh, because it's just me and I've got to like embrace me and move forward and, and find better ways to cope with me and how I interact with the world. Um, but damn, you know, um, it's hard not to feel a little, uh, let down or like abandoned in a way by my parents for not like, you know, being present enough to like realize that I was struggling before it was like, I'm a full blown adult struggling out here. Um, but I don't know, man. Um, it's tough, but we're gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, you know, maybe you'll figure it out with me. Um, maybe we can, Never mind. So yeah, um, I, I've got, I'm going to figure it out. 
But again, I really don't like I, you know, I know I, I, I've been, I'm trying not to like, you know, um, yeah, it's like I was saying, it's very difficult to like tease out what's what, you know, cause there's a lot, um, and I don't know what came first, chicken or egg, you know, like where, how do we get here? Um, you know, and maybe that's, and I think actually it's, um, the specifics maybe aren't important, but like I said, we just got to like move forward and figure out what, what we want life to be and how can we achieve that life, you know? I've been talking long enough. Um, I have, this is my, I've had a lot of coffee today, but it feels good today. Um, so I'm going to try to finish cleaning up, um, my room. I have a lot of impulses to do a lot of different things, but, um, I'm just going to try to focus on cleaning up my room, cleaning up the rest of that area out there. Um, and I will talk to you later. I hope that, um, I hope that, uh, I hope 